Hello guys, my name is Beroz and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share with you eight special tips and tricks that will majorly enhance your Kindle reading experience. And some of the tips I can assure you would be a wow for you. So stick till the end. This video is part of a video series on hidden features of Kindle. Most of these features are unknown to public. And even when I was researching them, a lot of them came as a very nice surprise to me. Hence, I'm sharing them with you and hopefully you will be equally surprised and excited to learn about them. I have categorized all these features into different sections and have created a video for each section. I will be sharing the link to each of these videos in the description below and also towards the end of this video. So stay tuned. Now the first step will help you go across the book and across different pages of the book without losing the page that you're reading. Now this is something that I would miss about a physical book, whereby whenever I would be reading a particular page, time after time, I would like to go and skim through other pages or other chapters in the book and then come back to the page that I'm reading because it was easy to hold that particular page in the physical book and then skim through the book. However, I always found this to be a challenge on Kindle till this tip was revealed to me. So here I am on the book that I'm reading on page 158. If I am to check out other pages without losing my location, I'll click above, click here, and now I can skim through other pages without losing my location. And once I'm done, I can close this and come back to my page. Other than that, if I want to know what other chapters are there in the book and I want to quickly flip through those chapters, I'll go click above and then click here. Here I can see all the contents of the book, which has all its chapters. And here it shows me in bold the chapter which I'm currently at. Now the second tip is about page turning animation, which is to animate the page turning in a way as if you were reading a physical book or let's say close to reading a physical book. So in order to change the animation from this, Click on the top, go and click on the icon with A and A, then go and click on more, then scroll down. Here you'll see page turn animation, turn it on and go back to your page and here the animation changes. Now the next tip is about knowing how much time is left for you to finish the book. So open the book that you're reading, click on the top, then click on the double A icon to open the display settings, then click on more. Here, the first setting that you'll see is reading progress, page and book, click on this. Here you have different options like page and book, time left in chapter, time left in book, location and book. What I like the most is time left in book and hence I'll select this. This is your reading speed. It will show you the time that is left for you to complete the book at the bottom. Now the next tip is about eliminating ghosting. Ghosting is when you see a faint image of text from previous page on the background of the screen. Ghosting is automatically refreshed on turning every sixth page. This feature is there on ink based e-readers in order to conserve battery. So there's a way of eliminating this ghosting. However, the downside is that your battery will be used up faster. So for this, click on the three dots, then click on settings and then click on reading options. Here it says page refresh. Turn it on. This way, the page will refresh every time you will turn the page and hence remove the ghosting effect. Now, the next tip is about customizing the font, the layout, the margin as per your liking and preference. So in order to customize the font, go in the book that you're reading, click on the top, click on the AA icon to open the display options. Here, click on font and here you can select the type of font you prefer. Again, I prefer the standard font, so I'll keep it like that. You can change the boldness of the font, so it will change how bold the font is and then you can change the size of the font. Now in order to change the layout, click on the layout, here you can change the orientation of the book. So it will be on landscape, if you hold it on landscape basis. In order to change the spacing between the lines, you can go with less spacing or higher spacing. Again, I want to keep it default, so I'll keep it in the middle. You can also change the margin if you don't want the text spreading across the screen, which is this, and even smaller margins. The next tip is about extra of the book. Using this feature, you can know how many times a particular term is mentioned in a book, how many times or where particular people are mentioned in the book. If you have to go through different images in the book, you can go through that as well, giving you a quick sketch of the book without reading the complete book. So here again, open the book that you're reading, Click on the top, click on the three dots. Here is the X-ray option. You can see the image 
the terms mentioned in the book and the people mentioned in the book. The next feature is about keeping track of time while you're reading a book. This happens to me a lot while I'm reading the book at night where I lose track of time. So this feature allows you to bring the time at top of your page. So open the book that you're reading, click on top, open on the AA icon to open the display options, go on more and here show clock while reading, turn it on and now you can see the time while you're reading the book. Now the next step is important when you're reading a difficult book with regards to challenging vocabulary, especially for kids. This tip allows you to display short definitions over difficult words as you're reading through the book. For this, open the book that you're reading, click on the top, then click on the AA icon and open the display settings, then click on more and here you scroll up and you'll find the option word wise, which is turned off. So click it and turn it on. And here you will see the vocabulary on the keywords. Here you have an option of changing the number of words that are highlighted or hide the option completely by clicking on bottom right. By clicking on hide, you can hide it completely by changing the number of hints. You can reduce the number of hints being shown. Thanks a lot for watching the video. In case you like the tips and they were helpful, please do press the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Also, you will find here link to all the videos where I share a whole bunch of secret and hidden tips and tricks for Kindle. Thanks for watching.